They say that's when a witch is getting married. A little rubbery. I swear to you, this tastes like bacon. It's like a rubber toy. Mm. It makes everything taste disgusting. All right, guys, so it's breakfast time. So I'm going to be trying out first the plant-based vegan egg. And I've seen this all over Instagram, like, when I started going vegan. It looked really large in pictures, and now that I received it, it says that it comes with six. So I'm assuming that they're pretty tiny. And then also we're going to try out the vegan bacon. I got two boxes of these, just in case that I really like it. They say that it's really good. It also looks, like, very realistic. So let's go ahead and make this. And as a side, I'm going to have some sweet potato, like, hash. And to that, I'm just going to add like a bunch of spices and stuff so let's go ahead and get cooking and then we'll taste it as soon as we're done so the first thing we're gonna do is cut up our red onion and also our sweet potato to make our hash brown because that literally takes the longest with my knife here i'm gonna cut up here so you guys can actually see because my counter is too low for my camera to get i'm only gonna cut half of this and i'll just save the half the other half for like something else you can take the skins off i like to leave them on because it has like extra like nutrients and stuff and so literally just cut it down the middle and then you can cut it one more time down the middle and then I just like to keep them and you can make them as big or little as you want you want to make sure that they're the same size so that when they're cooking it like cooks evenly do you want sweet potatoes yes. additionally you could also grate this and make like an actual sweet potato hash but I um I think I went to a restaurant one time and I had sweet potato hash like this and I've been obsessed ever since and so I like to eat it with like cayenne pepper just make it like into a spicier basically potato hash and it's really delicious but also sweet potatoes are just really good for you and just very different from like the normal like starchy potato and that's why you don't cut on your counter all right guys, so I have my pan going here. I'm just gonna add some olive oil to it. This is to help the um, sweet potatoes just like brown up. And then I'm going to cover them, let them steam. And then what you do is add a little bit of water at a time and it helps the cooking process. You can also put this in your oven or toaster oven, even your air fryer. But I like it this way because it caramelizes the outside and makes sure that the inside stays soft. And then if you're gonna add any veggies to this or any onions or garlic, you don't wanna add it until it's kinda like softened up a bit because then it's gonna burn your um, the rest of your ingredients. So I just wait till these soften up and get browned up and then you can like season them and do everything else. But first, you wanna make sure that they get soft because potatoes take forever to cook. While our potatoes are cooking up, I decided we can go ahead and just show you guys what this looks like. Um, so let's go, up, go ahead and open up the eggs first. Very interesting. Can you guys see that? <laughs> Basically like a fried egg. Um, and I guess they are pretty big, just like the Instagram post that I saw, but for some reason on Instagram, they just look so much bigger. Interesting. Do you see like that marbleization it has going on? They really do a really good job at making this look like real bacon. All right guys, so you wanna make sure that you check on your sweet potatoes. As you can see, like some of them are starting to get caramelized. When it gets to this point, they're still not very soft. But what you wanna do here is add your seasoning because this is when it starts to collect that seasoning now that it's soft. You'll also be able to smell like the sugar in sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are very sweet, which is hence their name. But at this point is when you wanna season it so that it can collect all the flavors inside and outside. I'm gonna go ahead and add some adobo as well, just a little bit. Smoked paprika, garlic powder, because garlic on everything. Onion powder, even though we're adding onion, you want to make sure that you add onion powder because it also enhances the flavor. Our key seasoning is going to be cayenne pepper. If you don't like a lot of spice, what you can do is add like some crushed red pepper. If it starts to dry up, you can add some more olive oil. But since I'm going to add a little bit of water to steam it up, it's going to, you know, just like really mix the seasonings and stuff. Also, I like to leave it like this because it adds like a nice little crunchy texture to it. And I spread it out so that it doesn't like get soggy in one area. Once it starts to dry up just a tad bit, you're gonna cover it. And you can turn up the heat here or just like leave it in the middle. And that's gonna make sure that your potatoes softened up and also get that crunch. All right, as you can see, our potatoes are pretty much done. And at this point is when you can add your onions. And I like to do it this way because it softens up the onions, but not too much. Also caramelizes them a little bit. And then you have that added crunch. All right, guys, and the last step to this is literally just to top it off with your favorite toppings. You can add whatever you like. Um, you can also add other veggies to this. I'm going to just use some green spring onions, and that's it. It's ready to go. So I'm going to use 
some light like oil spray because I don't want to use butter or anything to keep this kind of healthy. Okay, so we have our vegan bacon here as well. The pretty thick piece. Somebody so come get her. Like very marbly. So let's go ahead and drop in the pan. Yo, this legit smells like bacon cooking up. And it hasn't even been sitting for like a minute. It's literally just waiting on the pan. It's like, swear to God. All right, guys, so our bacon is done cooking. It's sizzling. It's brown. It's ready to go. Um, I think this would be really tasty in like a burger. Yeah, I'm going to set this aside and then we're going to cook up our egg. And then we're going to plate this up and we'll do a full-on taste test for you guys. So I already took out the vegan egg. Look how it looks. It's not they were like just like thicker. But yeah, it's super skinny. There's like two little papers on it. Or maybe that's not the paper. I don't even know how to cook this thing. All right, guys, so I don't want to cook this for too long. But as you guys can see, it kind of like fluffed up. And the yellow part is like very yolky. I don't know if that's like wet, but I think it is. Um, I'm gonna cook it on the other side for like a second. Ooh, that looks like a freaking egg. As soon as I'm ready for my taste test, my battery's dying. Look how pretty this freaking plate is. I think I cooked the bacon for a little too long because it's a little stiff. Um, let's go ahead and check that. Instant 10 out of 10. I swear to you, this tastes like bacon. This is so realistic. It reminds me of like, chicharron. Oh my God. I also think that this yolk is runny because the way it was cooking up and when I touched it, it was soft. So let's go ahead and zoom down so you guys can get this cutting action. Oh. No, but it's very yolky. Like if you had like a, you know, like a boiled egg, that's the kind of consistency it is. All right, so as you guys can see, very like fried egg-like. So let's go ahead and try this. It's not giving me like egg vibes per se. Like it looks very eggy, but it's not. It doesn't really taste like much. It's just like, it feels like an egg. Like it literally feels like an egg. I didn't really eat eggs like growing up. I never really liked them until like before going vegan. Actually, it does kind of taste like an egg. Not gonna... I'm gonna make Ariel try this. Give me, give me one second. We're gonna make my boyfriend try this and see what he thinks, cause he actually eats eggs. Please taste this for my video. All right guys, Ariel's gonna try this and he's gonna let us know if it tastes like an egg to him. A little rubbery. It doesn't have an egg flavor. But it tastes like an egg. <laughs> right? And he eats eggs, so <laughs> that says a lot. It literally tastes like the egg whites of an egg. That's what it tastes like. And the bacon tastes like Freaking bacon. I'm gonna link these down below because you guys have to try these out. I'm gonna go ahead and charge my battery because it is dying. I'll catch up with you guys around lunchtime, so stay tuned because it's coming up next. We will return after these messages. Alright guys, so I'm back and I decided to save the shrimp for dinner time. Instead, we're gonna try these vegan drumsticks. Didn't really eat a lot of like chicken growing up, but as I was on Instagram looking up ideas of like what I can make with this, I saw this picture with like um French fries, and I was reminded of like, up north there's like these chicken spots and like the Chinese spots where you can get like fried chicken and um, french fries, so that's exactly what we're gonna make. So I'm gonna make some french fries, kinda like the McDonald's style fries. Literally I'm just gonna add some olive oil, and I'm gonna air fry these, so you wanna make sure you add enough because the air fryer does a good job, but obviously like it's gonna dry it out. And then also just like a little bit of sea salt and then some ground black pepper. And then just give that a good mix, man. Because the vegan chicken is already cooked, I'm gonna cook the fries first because they take really long. So you just add that to your air fryer basket and then we can go ahead and set it inside. And if you guys can see the picture of this, it looks like it has a sauce on it, but I don't think that it actually does. Just to make sure, let's go ahead and open it while we wait for our fries. And if there's not, what I plan to do was, was make like an Asian style like barbecue sauce. It looks like they're in some kind of like liquid or broth, but there isn't actually any like seasoning on it. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this. We'll just add it to this. I don't know, should we cook it first? I guess we can cook it first and then add the sauce. So 
we'll just set this aside. Let's go ahead and make our sauce now. I already have a barbecue sauce recipe on my channel. I will link it up here and down below, so make sure you guys check that out. But what I'm gonna do is make it into like an Asian style sauce. So let me go ahead and make the base, and then we'll, go, we'll catch up in a few when we're gonna change it. Our french fries are done. I have them in the microwave, but let me show you them real quick. Quick. Um, that's how they look. I didn't cook all of them all the way through, so what I'll do is like literally throw it back in the air fryer so they can get crispy again. But they are. You hear that? Crunchy, delicious, and reminds you of McDonald's fries. So I have here my barbecue sauce mix that I usually make when I make barbecue sauce. But we're gonna add some Asian ingredients to it. So we're gonna add some sesame seed oil to give it that like nutty flavor that's really delicious. You only need a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. To give this some extra spice, we're gonna add some fresh chili paste. And you just need like maybe like half a teaspoon of that because it is a little spicy, but it's also very sweet. So chop up some fresh ginger that I had in my freezer that I just found yesterday. Next we have some vegetarian fish sauce. And this is a little salty, so you don't wanna add too much. Um, literally just like a few drops. We'll do. And so I've already added sweet. Ooh. So I've already added some sweetener to this. I've added molasses. You can add whatever sugar you would like. I normally add like cane sugar, but because I had molasses and it's in a darker like color range, I wanted to add it to this to keep the barbecue sauce on the darker side. I also found this in my freezer. This is red bean paste. But because I have sugar in here already, you don't want to add too much. But basically, this is just like a bean paste that is sweet. So think of like literally red beans, like kidney beans and add some sugar to that, give it a good like mixing, and you literally have red bean paste. All right, let me change the angles for you guys so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. That's what the sauce is looking like. And we're just gonna give it a good little mixing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cook up our chicken wing. I'm gonna toast the chicken wings first to get it like a little bit crispy and then we'll add the sauce on top and then we'll refry it a little bit and then they'll be ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up. I'll show you guys one before we put them in. So this is what they look like. Um, yeah, I mean, those look chicken, little chicken wings. Also like the little stick, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, is like a bamboo stick or something. So we'll go ahead and just add this to our air fryer. Then we're just gonna spray it with a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all my stuff up real quick while these things cook up. Once they brown and get crispy, we'll go ahead and add our sauce to it. And then I'm gonna sit down with you guys and we're gonna eat our lunch. I'm really excited to eat these chicken wings, especially with this sauce because it looks and smells so freaking delicious. to be eaten, the fries are crunchier than ever. Mm -hmm. I am starving. I was taking photos of my chicken wing and I burnt the crap out of my finger because it was so hot. So as you can see, I added the sauce to it and the um, sesame seeds. It looks so pretty. I'm gonna use my finger, but like I said, it's pretty hot. Um, so let me just bite it so you guys can see the inside. Mm. <laughs> I can't even lick my fingers because I have this nail polish on my fingers so that I don't bite my nails and it makes everything taste disgusting. So I can't even like truly enjoy chicken wings the way I want to. So very chickeny. The only thing is that this little bamboo stick comes out of it very easily. So I didn't really get to experience it the way I wanted it to. But look at that. Very chickeny. Um, you see the fibers like really good. This reminds me a lot of like the May Wa New York City vegan chicken that I've had before. I'll link a video that I've had on my channel about it. You guys can check that out. But literally it is exactly the same. It just has a different kind of taste, but it's literally, I swear to God, it's the same chicken. Yeah, that chicken definitely gets a 10 out of 10. 10 out of freaking 10. Oh damn good. I highly recommend. Mm. I've eaten celery lately and it's pretty good. It's raining and the sun is out. In Puerto Rico, they say that's when a witch is getting married. I think the witch in this case is me and these chicken wings because they're so freaking good. I have a fork here, but for what? I can't. All right, I'm gonna finish 
eating my plate up, going to catch up on some things, and then I'm gonna bring you guys back for dinner. And I'm gonna give you another guess for dinner time with the vegan shrimp. It's gonna be another Asian style dish, so if you guys can guess it, I'll give you some brownie points. All right, we'll catch up in a little bit. All right guys, so we're down to our last meal, and this is dinner, so I'm using vegan shrimp. And I made, I don't know if you guys have been to the mall in the United States, they have them everywhere, but basically it's this Saraku Japan fast food chain. And I used to love going there, especially when I worked at the mall, and I would get the chicken teriyaki. So I tried to replicate the shrimp teriyaki version of that. Um, I don't know if it tastes like it yet, but before we get into this taste test, let's go ahead and show you guys how to cook this. Alright guys, so I'm going to be linking down below the actual recipe that I copied or imitated in this video. Um, I didn't know really how to make up this recipe myself, so I went ahead and just just used an online recipe, honestly. Um, that's the best way to make this. But other than that, I just added in the veggies that I had and kind of replicated what Saraku Japan does. Usually I remember it having like broccoli, carrots, and like onions. I don't remember like any other veggies being in there, but I might be wrong. And honestly, this is also all I had in my house for like a stir fry. Also, on the shrimp side, because it comes with so little, what I like to do with it is cut it in half and it kind of doubles the size or amount that you have. Then you can go ahead and add your sauce, your cornstarch slurry. This is gonna bubble up really quickly, get real thick. And that is basically it, and it's ready to be eaten, served. So let's go ahead and go to the taste test. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and link down below the recipe that I tried to imitate with what I had at home down below, if you guys wanna check that out. I think I would like this better with actual like vegan chicken versus shrimp, but let's go ahead and try this shrimp. I've tried this before, and I've already eaten some, um, but I haven't eaten it with like, you know like teriyaki version, so let's go ahead and try it. Teriyaki itself is pretty good, but the shrimp, I'm not a huge fan of. It's just very like plasticky, not very shrimp-like. It looks like shrimp, but once you cut it open, like, I mean, it's very plasticky, rubbery material. I've used this before though, to make like shrimp ceviche, and in that case, I really liked it. And I think it was because it was like marinated for a very long time, and then also like I chopped it up in very tiny pieces. And even then, it was still rubbery, so I don't honestly recommend this. Also, it's like pretty expensive. I think it's like, I don't even remember how much it was, but I'll put the price on the, on the screen. But you only get 17 shrimp. I remember I bought this back in like 2017 when I first went vegan. And that's like when I was really into seafood. And even back then I really didn't enjoy it. But I remember that the bag was like way bigger than this. So you would get more for what you paid for it. But now they like give you less shrimp and it's the, basically the same price. So honestly, I give this out of like the whole recipe. I give it like a pretty good number. But the shrimp itself, it's like a... Like a three out of 10, it's just, I mean, it looks like it. It tastes like whatever you put it in, but it's literally just like, it's like a rubber toy. Like that's what it reminds me of. And I really don't enjoy it. I literally think I'm just gonna pick these shrimp out and just eat the vegetables and the rice because I really just don't like it. But the recipe itself, give it a try. All right, and there you guys have it. I tried out a bunch of Belief vegan products. Honestly, like my least favorite is just the shrimp. It's just too plasticky, not a fan. The egg is similar in like, how it feels, but I still think that it tastes like a straight up egg, which I would buy again. I really quite enjoy that, not gonna lie. The bacon, I swear to you, tastes like straight up pork, and it's crazy, I don't know how they did that. The only thing that I recommend with the bacon, because it is very thin, is to not cook it for too long because it starts to get hard. I really wanna make like BLTs with this. The egg, I love. The chicken, I freaking, that that probably has to be my favorite and the shrimp i don't recommend like it's just it just was not it was not all that but that is it for this taste test i hope you guys enjoyed this video i tried to give you guys not just a tasting but also recipes that you guys can try out even if you don't buy these products and buy something similar you can try out the recipes and make them with other plant-based products but i will link everything down below if you guys are interested in any of the recipes let me know i'll make sure to put them on my website and before i go make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below join the familia i will see you guys very soon take care los quiero mucho y hablamos ahorita Chao. back to you oh.